For the last 11 months, the brigade has been going through what's called the road to high readiness, getting ready to become the high readiness brigade that is the immediate, uh, basically, emergency button for the government of Canada. So if they want to deploy Canadian forces, uh, one brigade will be the brigade that they call on for the next year. To do that, we have to show that we're competent, we're prepared, and we're effective. So under uh, General Cadre, our brigade commander, we've been going through incrementally more complicated exercises, and this is really uh, the big ticket show for us, Promethean Ram. There's no easy fight uh, overseas, but it's absolutely imperative that we conduct this sort of training so that we can condition our soldiers to what they might face abroad. And this is complicated. Uh, today we're going to have uh, about 250 soldiers, all capable of uh, independent thought. Uh, they are sensors, uh, they are weapon systems, and they have to come together on the battlefield uh, towards an objective. And we like to refer to them as tactical athletes. Uh, we have to get them prepared for these sorts of operations, and it's imperative uh, that, uh, that we train aggressively and realistically for those operations we might uh, have to conduct on behalf of the, uh, the government once we're declared operationally ready from the June time frame onwards. It's important that we conduct this sort of training uh, because when we send uh, men and women uh, from the Canadian Armed Forces who are Canadian citizens, abroad uh, to, to represent Canadian values, we want to send them uh, as prepared as possible for the conditions that they're going to face. And so by conducting this training, uh, which is complicated and it's difficult and it takes resources to do it, uh, we're better ensuring uh, the ability of our soldiers to conduct their mission abroad, but we're also better ensuring their protection and their safety when they go into these very dangerous environments. And they will go into those environments.